Alright, hey, what's going on everybody? It's Mike from Hanging Out with Mike. And today we are at Carowinds. It is the opening day. And I'm pretty excited. It's my first time being here. And it actually opens at 11 and we got here about 1040. And there was really no wait to get in. Uh, we got season passes, which if you've never done it, you just basically, you have to make a reservation and then you just go to the entrance and they'll take your picture right there and then give you your season pass. So it was pretty painless. So let's go along for the, check out Carowinds today. So we decided to take a break. We went to the Jukebox Diner. It is a 50 style uh, restaurant here right outside the, the Hurdler, which is the wooden roller coaster here that we just got off of. And right now, all the seating is outdoors. It looks like they have space for inside, but there is no inside seating right now, probably due to COVID, obviously. But they serve uh, hamburgers chicken tenders, and I don't know, it's typical uh, bear food, if you will. Nothing great, but we just wanted to take a break. We've been here about an hour, and we were able to ride two rides so far, so I consider we're doing pretty good. And it's not really very packed. I expected it to be more crowded on this opening day, but it's kind of a pleasant day out. pretty empty right now. As you can tell, uh, there's really nobody behind me. There's lots of space for, for us to walk. And uh, yeah, it's just a nice day for an opening day. It hasn't been open in two years. And just enjoying the atmosphere. off Copperhead Strike, is that what it's called? Yeah. Copperhead Strike. And uh, it's the newest roller coaster here. And it's pretty uh, thrilling, if you will. Pretty aggressive. Uh, I'm used to Disney World, so definitely wasn't ready for that, but it's a lot of fun. And there's a couple other aggressive rides here, but we are not gonna have a chance to do it today just because uh, just the timing wise, the ride, the app, if you have the app on your phone, the wait times are highly inaccurate, just to give you a heads up. But yeah, we're just gonna keep walking around and uh, trying to see what we can do. All right, Copperhead Strike, it is a great roller coaster. It's the newest roller coaster. It's twisty turny, goes upside down. A lot of fun, a lot of thrills. However, one thing that I wish I would've known, or I wish they had an employee there as you go into the queue, is that you cannot take bags or cameras on the ride. So as you're walking up towards Copperhead Strike, you'll notice uh, lockers to the left of you. And you are carrying a purse, a bag, you know, a camera around your neck. Anything that can't be in your pockets, you have to rent a locker. I'm just, there's no exceptions. I saw somebody wait in line, wait in the hour line, got on the ride with a cross slung purse, and they would not let her ride. After waiting all that time, you know, they don't have boxes to put your stuff in. 
You have to get a locker, so I can't emphasize that enough. If you are going to go on Copperhead Strike, you cannot have any carry-on. And so when you go to the lockers, they take cash or credit cards, and it's $2 an hour. You don't have to use them just for Copperhead Strike. You can run them all day, but it's two dollars an hour with a two-hour minimum. So, if you are carrying purses and all that, you're gonna spend four dollars at a minimum to go on carpet strike. Or if there's someone in your party not going, just give your bags to them, give your cameras to them, and then you don't have to worry about it. So here it is, it's about 3 o'clock now, right? Yeah. About 3 o'clock. About 3 o'clock and we are actually getting ready to head out. Um, we got a two hour drive back to our house, so just, we're tired. It's kind of hot and we, we went on a couple, thrill, a couple thrill rides, it was fun. But as you can see behind me again, once again, it is not very crowded here, so if you're interested in coming up, I'd say go for it. And if you're afraid of COVID, I would say stay home because nobody up here is wearing a mask which is awesome if you want to get back to normal. But, yeah, we will definitely be coming back up here in the next month or so. All right, so like typical, we had to stop and get our coffee on our way out to end of the day. And we stopped at Starbucks, and this is by far the most expensive Starbucks I've ever been into. So just to let you know, in case you want to come and get Starbucks while you're here. But we are now exiting the park and uh, heading home. Well, Carowinds is a business, and like any business, there are gonna be steps and procedures in place to try to mitigate the COVID risk. One of the things that Carowinds is doing as part of their enhanced health protocols is if you are a season pass holder, you have to go online and make a park reservation. It's pretty easy and then you can print it off. They'll, I think they send you an email. You can add it to your Apple wallet. You can add it to your app, I believe. If you buy a single day ticket, you don't have to worry about the park reservation because you're probably already counted in into their day's total. There's no longer temperature checks going into Carowinds. They still do a health screen questionnaire. The website says that there'll be employees there asking you as you go in. In my experience, it's not an individual basis. Basically, on opening day, they had two employees standing out front, and as people were walking by, they would randomly ask the questions. And as expected, nobody said yes. Everybody basically just kept walking, which I think is a waste of everybody's time because those employees could be doing something else more productive. Once you are in the park, they do have hand sanitation stations all around the park. I had no issues getting uh, the hand sanitizer. Once again, I went opening day, so I assume they were freshly filled. But if you're worried about sanitizing your hands, I would bring your own. So Carowinds put out, anytime you're indoors, if you are not vaccinated, you're supposed to wear a mask. Now in my experience on opening day, only about 5% of the people I saw wore a mask. So if you're still worried about you know, if people are vaccinated and wearing a mask or they're not wearing a mask, I would probably skip going to Carowinds right now. But if you just want to get back to normal and see people smiling faces, now is a great time to go to Carowinds, seeing people laughing and smiling and just, just being normal for once. I thought it was pretty cool. Once again, if you're worried about wearing a mask or you're worried about people unvaccinated wearing a mask, I would probably skip, skip Carowinds at this time. You know, as we get more pop, as we get more vaccinated and more of the herd immunity, you know, definitely go for it later on in the year. Or if you just want to get out, you know, a lot of events are outdoors anyway. Just avoid the indoor rides or the indoor events if you're worried about it. In my opinion, I'm no doctor though. Thanks for watching this video on our day at Carowinds. Don't forget to like it and subscribe. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel to see what else there is to do around North Carolina and especially Fort Bragg. And until next time, have a great day.